and you know this. You might get mad at me because you don't like me saying stuff like this, but I am a big fan of both James Harden and Chris Paul. Chris Paul is one of the greatest you know point guards like to ever that. play the game. And James Harden, I have I was voting for him for MVP when hardly anybody else was. In 2015, when Steph won his first MVP, I voted for James Harden. I thought he should have won it that year for carrying the Rockets. He obviously won it last year, and I voted for him then. Didn't vote for him this year. Went with Giannis. But as much as I like those guys, I hope the Houston Rockets get swept. What? Because they are representing so much of what is wrong with society today. Oh, now you're going to paint with a broad and number, brush. Yes, I am. Uh, Let uh, me finish. This is society. Let me finish. Number one, and this is this is com- this is relegated to the world of sports. They are too analytics heavy. All right, we see it in baseball, Rob, where now it's all about home runs and launch angle, and you don't care if you strike out 200 times a year. Doesn't matter. Just hit homers. Small ball is gone. Don't manufacture runs. Don't steal bases. Sw- the, the, the switches. It's too much analytics. And all they want to do in Houston is shoot threes or paint shots. No more mid-range game. Where would the NBA be historically without the mid-range game? Some of the most beautiful parts of the NBA have been the mid-range game. And to make matters worse for you, Houston Rockets, to add insult to your injury that Golden State puts on you, they use the mid-range game. The one team you can't beat uses the mid-range game. So that's number one. They're too analytics heavy, and we saw it to the nth degree with their GM, Daryl Morey, sending this overblown letter to the NBA or, or writing it and then talking to the NBA about it, of how they the referees cost the Houston Rockets a championship last year. Stop it. Which leads me to the second thing, and this is a problem in society today. Too much of a sense of entitlement. And that's where all this complaining comes from. You think the league owes you something? Like some people think the world owes them something. The referees don't owe you anything. Stop jackknifing when you take a three-pointer. Stop jumping to your right to draw contact when you take a three-pointer. The league doesn't owe you a, 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 a playoff victory. The league doesn't owe you bogus foul calls. Everybody gets punished from bad officiating. It's human error. There were calls that were missed on the Warriors, calls that were missed on the Rockets. Maybe more were missed on the Rockets. That's what the league said. Okay, fine, but it happens. Move past it. You're not entitled to anything. That's the second thing. And then the third We're in the era of fake news, right? I turn it to whatever channel, whatever news channel I turn it to, I'm not getting news, I'm getting propaganda. A lot of it fake on both sides. What did you read, uh, Pravda this morning? And now, with all of the flopping, all the offensive flopping that the Houston Rockets do, and they're great at it. And I don't hate on James Harden for doing it, but it's flopping. That's fake news. It's the equivalent of fake news. Can I talk? I'm not really, didn't really get fouled. I actually fouled him, but I got the call. Fake news. So I'm getting sick and tired of the Houston Rockets. As much as I've liked them in the past, I hope you get swept. Your turn. You know I'm right, too. As usual, Chris Broussard, the king of prisoner of the moment. Oh, my God. The house is burning down. The huge, This is what the Rockets have been doing forever. And, Chris, stop. You know what? Don't be the, using my, my statement. Stop it. <laughs> and here it is. The flopping was so, like, as if this is new and that like, Houston just started this. The flopping was so bad. That the NBA to constitute a rule in 2012, this is 2019, about flopping because it was it's already been done. 
This ain't new. It's a part of their it game plan. It ain't, but it ain't it's new. A, I ain't saying Chris, it was you're new. making it like, it's a part of like their game oh, this, plan. Is, this is ruining the game. No, they I They were already ruining that. the game with the flopping. It ain't gotten ridiculous. It was worse than soccer. My point is that, yes, I wish they would try to make shots and stop with all the uh, uh, complaining. I'm Did tired you hear of that talking America, about it. In other words, I'm tired. he agrees with me. No, I don't agree with you. I think you're just over the top with it. Yes, would I rather them just try to make shots? But this is not new. This is not new. The way they call the games in the playoffs is not new. They want you to make baskets. They're not going to bail you out. This has always been. I've been covering the league since 1987. I didn't see anything new the other night. In other words, in that America, game, he agrees with I you. I don't agree with you. You are saying everything no, I'm, I'm saying. Not. No, I'm not. You're making it like you it's You don't so know how to debate, I Mr. Do. Parker. I've been doing this you for 90 up, years. You pick up. You, no. When you debate me, you don't debate what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. I'm you're thinking agreeing. You're, no, you're making Just it like. Just admit it. I'm not. You're making you it like this take. is new. Like it happened. Oh, my God. They're ruining the game. I want them I to lose. I never said that. Yes, you said you want them to get swept. Because you're tired of watching what they do. Teams have been They've doing this. they the embodiment. No, no, other teams have done this. This is, this is not old, Always Chris. Always offended. Stop. That's what the flopping. Look at the facial expressions. Look at the flops when they fall. Oh, we're so offended. That's a that's society today. You said this about us. You said that. Chris Paul running up to the ref, bumping him. Over what? He's the first guy to bump Over a ref. What? He's the first guy to bump no, a ref. No, I'm just saying. I'm that's just, so that's I never what's said new they were about the first. it. It's nothing Did new. Did I ever use the word, they're the first? No, but, no. You're, but you're disgusted and you're just like, oh, they got to get am. swept because they're well, flopping. They, I don't think they will And get they're swept. overreacting. I just said the way they're acting, they they have offended so – it's gone way over the top. You know it. You agree. You agree that they've gone way too far no, with this complaining. The complaining I don't like, but I understand – what they are trying to get calls. This has been in the game for a long time. Have they not gone over the top, though, there, Rob? There, no, That's no, all I'm saying. I never said they were the first. I'm talking about complaining. Do they yes. not go over the top with the analytics? No, I'm just talking That's about their the whole thing. Hey, they could do what. You know what? I would rather we go back, and I don't want to sound like uh, an old man. I really don't. But but that's where we are when you talk about I I would much rather the game where there's the other stuff where again up America and, no, he agrees I, with I, me but but it's I'm not, okay but they've done very well doing what they've done and that's my point is that they win game seven so it ain't like they got no shot to win doing what they've done and playing Mike D'Antoni style and putting up threes and all that they were this close to getting to the finals a year ago in a game seven with Chris Paul not playing. So it's not like it's not working, Chris. I never said they weren't a great team, and I don't think they'll get swept. I'm just saying they're rubbing me the wrong way to the point where I'm like, sweep them, boys. That's all I'm saying. And you agree. I don't agree. You agree with the analytics point. I just think that you're— You agree with the complaining too much. I just think that you're uh, a prisoner of the moment and you're making a big deal. Because they're not the first. My God. I never said they were the first. That's my point. Why are you bothered now? You were bothered because in 2012. Because they've gone way over the David top. When David Stern put in the flopping thing. Yeah, in 2012, they weren't too analytics heavy. Was that heavy. Stern or was that? Yeah, that was Stern. That would have been Stern. In 2012, they weren't too analytics but heavy. But the flopping was ridiculous. I never said they were the first to flop. I'm just saying my point about the flopping is they're always offended. And they're, they are one of the first to flop offensively. Most fo- f- guys flop defensively. Are you flopping or flipping? I mean, what the flop uh, are you saying? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. I don't know what you mean. All right. It's the I couple. Your turn to weigh in. Am I right about the Houston Rockets? And again, this is from a guy who is like them. But I'm tired of it. Go out and play the game and stop complaining. I feel sick. <sighs> All right, 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Are the Rockets the basketball embodiment of everything that's going wrong with our country today? So, let Rob, let's get to the calls. Let's see what the listeners think. Jason in North Carolina, you are on with Chris and Rob. What's happening? What's going on, guys? I got to say, I agree with you 100%, Chris. Thank you. Uh, I think really at most of the time when Harden takes that three, it could be a foul on him. That's what Draymond Green said, and, and he's right. Like the last play, and I'm so glad it was a nine call in that, in that game one, that three-pointer attempt at the end, he jackknifed. 
He kicked his feet out to draw the contact. I'm sorry, if, if if a player can't be that close to you where you kick him when you jackknife, then you can't you don't want contested jumpers anymore. If they exactly. would have called a foul on Draymond for that, it would have been ridiculous. But yeah, I, I I agree. I'm not saying the Rockets are the first to do this type of stuff, but they have taken it to the nth degree. I just think you know more about it, and I think you, Jason and Chris, are just falling into everything is magnified now because we have 24-hour sports television and radio and debate shows. So it just seems as if it's more and it's annoying because that's all people are talking about because maybe there's not other things you want to talk about. So I think part of that is part of the reason as well is because uh, leading up to every game and then it's just rehashed over and over and over. So it seems like it's bigger than it really is. I don't think it's any bigger than we've seen in the past. I know inside you agree with me, man. I don't. Mac, <laughs> in Illinois, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports what? Radio. What's hey. up, Mac? Hey, how's it going? What's Doing happening? great. You got to hurry up. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to say, man, I, I, I don't blame Houston for the complaining they're doing. They have a case. Except that last shot. The last shot was not a foul. It was not. But those other ones were. And I feel like if it were the other way around, Golden State would have got those calls. At home, you feel like down. you don't know that you feel like. Yeah, I feel. Is, that, I mean, is but there proof? It, 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 the champions, the champions, gonna get the benefit of the doubt, especially at home, all the time. It, it's after Patriots, and I don't look. Uh, Rob's right in this. Everybody complains. All the players complain. I do think though the Rockets have taken it to a level that's somewhat unprecedented. I don't, I don't it's think ridiculous. they're taking it too far. I think it's just getting talked about. The too much. GM wrote a full letter to the league saying that the league cost them the championship last year. Yeah. How many other teams yeah, yeah, have done that? <laughs> See, on that and oh, then leaked it to the press. That, that's too much. Yes, okay, that's, that's, too all, much. that's all that's I'm saying. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, because things have now, people feel empowered for that stuff. We've, exactly. We've that's seen, what I'm talking about we, today's we, society. No, You're but, agreeing but, uh, no, with me. No, I'm not agreeing you, with you. Why? I'm not. Well, you don't like a brother? I, uh, why I can't you just like it? I don't. Because I think that what you're making is a bigger stink than stuff that's been going on. That's all. all it's right. a little different. For, it's a little different, Chris. I'll give you that. But this is not new you, NBA you, basketball. You love me. It's not. You, you love me and you love my take. I that's know. all. But it's cool. It's not play, new the, play the rough guy. Play the I'm tough doing guy. what I got to do. <laughs> Let's go to Marty in Kentucky. Marty, what's up? What's up, fellas? We're great. How are you? I'm great, and I agree with Rob Parker. Yes, sir. Rob uh, Parker. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with Rob because Rob agrees with Chris. <laughs> right. There you go. There you go. Even and you know Marty's a, hey, Marty, you know Marty's a straight no, shooter. Marty, I don't agree with Chris. You know Marty's a straight shooter. No, Marty. You know I, you don't. <laughs> Stop it, Marty. Stop <laughs> I, it. I got to put this on Dan Tony. The leadership at the top can't allow the players to whine and complain this much. You got to be – you got to show more of a winning attitude than this. And I hope they get swept too. And everything Chris said when he was going on his his rant, man, I was I was yelling amens and hallelujahs like I was in church, man. That's my man. That's my man. Call anytime, Marty. Let's go to Antoine in Omaha. Antoine, you're on with Chris and Rob. Yo, Chris, man, I don't understand how you're going to do this to me, man. I have to agree with Rob. Yes, sir. But Rob agrees as, with as you. Long, as long as I've been listening to this show, I don't think I've ever agreed with Rob. But this time I have to be with the man because <laughs> – Here's the thing, man. Um, everybody's trying to make it seem like uh, like Houston's this poster child for flopping and, and complaining when everybody does it all the time. But the thing is, what they're complaining about from was a day a day or two ago, or whatever else, they were legitimate. Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't have been complaining about it. But the thing is, they, if if uh, if it's called the right way, then they're not complaining. Let me ask you this, Antoine: like they, Was they, the call? Was do you think Harden like they should have called that foul on Draymond on the three pointer at the end of the game? On the, yeah, he slid over. Like he Harden, was moving. Harden kicked his legs out two feet in front of his body. Nah, it he wasn't that far, man. You can't, well, you can't exaggerate. It wasn't that. He jackknifed. That's not your, <laughs> land, your on, landing spot. He isn't like, isn't jackknifed. But did Draymond move though? Was was Draymond moving it, towards them? They should, both did. It shouldn't have been it a foul. Yeah, but the thing is, and then you what have about to, you Chris, have to, What about Chris you Paul? You have to take care of the shooter. What about the thing Chris is, you Paul? Have to play, no, you the, have to take care of the shooter. The defender has a landing spot too. 
Right. And what but about the thing is, if what you're about, out? Come on, man, that's crazy. If you're gonna start calling no. that, what about Chris no, that Paul was, that when he went at the ref? Only, did, only did one that I don't agree with to go at the ref the, the way he did at the end. Oh no, 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 no! I don't, I don't. You don't go after the ref. Only one I don't agree with is that last one. But the thing is, if if you're closing out like me as a coach, when I tell when I tell my kids to close out, you stay on the ground. That way you can stop in front of them or whatever without jumping into them. That way if they do try to jump towards you or whatever, it's obvious. But Draymond is in the air and he's moving towards them. So if a, if a jumper goes up and he swings an arm out or a leg out or whatever else and that person's in the air, that's contact. He hasn't even came down yet. You he have to call that. He kicked his legs out. That's not your landing spot. Oh, come on, man. It wasn't, it wasn't that exaggerated. It's not. It was, it, all right. All right. It wasn't. All right, brother. Thank you.